Hi guys, Scott here from Tempest Paranormal and I'm back with a new video. So if you saw my last video, you saw we looked at 10 haunted dolls that were available for purchase on eBay. And from that video, I went out and bought one of the haunted dolls. So without further ado, let me introduce you to the star of this video, Stacy. So just to recap what we had from the previous video. Stacy is a highly active haunted doll. She's seven years old and fell from a bridge in Devon, UK. She likes animals and laughter. That's why she didn't want to pass to the light. She enjoys having her hair stroked, listening to music and being around family and love. She shows herself as a very clear apparition. The smell of lavender and roses may waft through your home. Small faint giggles and cupboard doors opening and closing are an everyday occurrence. Very positive, very sweet and very caring. So now that Stacy's here, I've had her for about a day and I've not yet experienced anything particularly unexplainable or paranormal. But what I thought I'd do in this video is use the two apps that I've previously done videos on, Necrophonic and the Echovox 3, to try and communicate with the spirit of Stacy, see if there is in fact a spirit attached to this doll, one that I can talk to, and to see yeah what I can get. So I will keep looking over here because this is where the doll's positioned in my room. Obviously on the video you should see the feed of the doll here. I'm going to open up the apps. I think we'll start with Necrophonic. Okay. So since the last time I used these apps, I have learned a bit more about how they work. So they use the sensors in your phone to uh, detect changes in the atmosphere around it, which is essentially the spirit trying to communicate with you. So let's try Necrophonic and see what we can find. Hello, Stacey, are you there? Are there any spirits present that want to talk to us? Okay, so I've been informed, Stacy, that you fell from a bridge in Devon. Is this true? Tell me something about yourself if you're here. How old are you? Tell me your age. And where are you from? Can you say your name? Tell me your name. How did you die? Oh. Tell me about yourself. <laughs> Why have you attached your spirit to this doll? Was this your doll? How many spirits are here with me now? My name's Scott. Can you say my name? 
Can you say stop? Okay, so I'm just going to stop it. So I don't think I picked up anything particularly responsive there, um, but I'm not 100% sure. So I'm going to start up again and ask a few more questions, but at the moment I'm not seeing any positive signs of activity here. Was that someone giggling? Did I hear giggling? Do you know what day of the week it is? Do you know what year it is? Can you tell me something about yourself, Stacey? Um, when did you die? Why is your spirit attached to this doll? Do you like the doll? Does it remind you of yourself when you were alive? How do you feel about what we're doing now? How do you feel about the fact I'm trying to talk to you? Okay, so I don't know if I particularly got anything too impressive from that. So what I'm going to do next is open up the Echo Vox app. Make sure that all of my settings and presets are loaded in, which they're not, so I'm just going to load my presets in. Start the blind shuffle. Okay, so I'm going to start up the Echovox System 3 and see if we get anything different from that. Okay, Stacey, I've started a different application now that you should be able to use to communicate with me. So to start with, we'll ask, are you there? I apologise if in the pre with the previous app you did answer the questions I'm going to ask you now, but I'm going to ask them again because I didn't hear any sort of response. What's your name? How old are you? Where are you from? How did you die? How did you die? Why is your spirit attached to this doll? 
Was this your dog? Okay, so now I'm going to ask some more general questions. How many spirits are here with me today? If you're here, can you say my name? My name's Scott. Can you say Scott? How old are you? Tell me about yourself. Tell me something about yourself. So, if you're here, Stacy, in the eBay listing it said you enjoy animals. Downstairs currently I have a dog. What do you think of my dog? Okay. So, we're going to stop it and we're going to just turn on the reverb. Which may make a difference, I don't really know. Okay, so I've just turned on another setting on the Zach. Can you talk to me still? Is there anyone there? If you're there, please talk to me now. Say your name. What? What are you? Okay, so I've stopped the recording again there. So, I don't think I've received any particularly intelligent replies here. Um, I'm going to review the footage back, listen back to some of the responses I got, and see if I did get anything. There were a couple of things that I thought sounded like they may be potentially replies to my question, but in the moment they didn't sound clear enough to say for sure. So... Once I've watched this back, I will put a little highlight reel after this of things that I think may be um, responses or answers to my questions. Before I do that, I want you to pause the video now and go to the comments below and let me know if you heard anything throughout the video. I don't want to suggest what I may potentially hear onto things that you've heard, as we may hear them differently. So if you let me know down below what you think you heard, and I'll add now what I think I hear, if that is anything. Um, but for now, it doesn't look like Stacy is as active as the eBay listing claimed. It's still early days, I've only had Stacy for just over 24 hours at this point. I'm going to set up a camera recording Stacy for a long period to see if anything happens to the doll in terms of movement over 24 hours. Um, I'm going to set up a few other cameras and see which will then be in a following video to this. But for now, I think we can say that this doll is not particularly active. And this doll on the eBay listing initially was only £5. I ended up getting a bid up to paying £20 for it. Currently, I don't know if this doll is in fact haunted. I don't know if the listing is accurate, but we will find out hopefully, and I will be continuing to film videos with the doll uh, around doll scent things and hopefully we'll get some sort of activity in the future. But for now this has been Scott Evans from Tapis Paranormal and I'll see you later. Hello Stacey, are you there? Was this your doll? 
Can you say stop? Uh, 